With me this afternoon is my wife, Rana. Uh, I'm here to announce, uh, I'm here this afternoon to announce that I will sign a resolution that the city council passed yesterday directing the city attorney to file a brief in support of gay marriage. My plan has been reported, that has been reported publicly was to veto the resolution so that I feel like I owe San, all San Diegans right now an explanation for this change of heart. During the campaign two years ago, I announced that I did not support gay marriage and instead supported civil unions and domestic partnerships. I have personally wrestled with that position ever since. My opinions on this issue have evolved significantly, as I think the opinions of mil uh, millions of Americans from all walks of life have. In order to be consistent with the position I took during the mayoral election, I intended to veto the council resolution. As late as yesterday afternoon, that was my position. The arrival of the resolution to sign or veto in my office late last night <clears throat> Please excuse us. Forced me to re, uh, reflect and search my soul for the right thing to do. I've decided to lead with my heart, which is probably obvious at the moment, to do what I think is right and to take a stand on behalf of equality and social justice. The right thing for me to do is sign this resolution. For three decades, I've worked to bring enlightenment, justice, and equality to all parts of our community. As I reflected on the choices I had before me last night, I just could not bring myself to tell an entire group of people in our community they were less important, less worthy, or less deserving of the rights and responsibilities of marriage than anyone else, simply because of their sexual orientation. A decision to veto this resolution would have been inconsistent with the values I've embraced over the past 30 years. <laughs> I do believe that times have changed, and with changing time and new life experiences, come different opinions. I think that's a natural and it's certainly true in my case. Two years ago, I believed that civil unions were a fair alternative. Those beliefs in my case have changed. The concept of separate but equal, uh, the concept of a separate but equal institution is not something I can support. I acknowledge that not all members of our community will agree or perhaps even understand my decision today. All I can offer them is I'm trying to do what I believe is right. I have close family members and friends who are a member of the gay and lesbian community. Those folks include my daughter Lisa, as well as members of my personal staff. <coughs> I want for them the same thing that we all want for our loved ones. For each of them to find a mate whom they love deeply and who loves them back. Someone with whom they grow all together and share life's experiences. And I want their relationships to be protected equally under the law. In the end, I couldn't look any of them in the face and tell them that their relationship, their very lives, were any less meaningful than the marriage I share with my, with my wife, Verona. Thank you. <laughs>